All right, joining now to tonight's big story and Amber Alert ends in tragedy. A baby boy found dead along with his father, the suspected abductor. Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from baby Logan's mother, who says she doesn't know how she can move forward after something like this. He is a happy baby. 30 year old Missy Zyman was raising little Logan on her own, but says he made motherhood easy. He smiled, he laughed, he was a joy to be around, everybody loved him. Including, she says, the baby's father, Elvis Habibovich. It wasn't unusual for the dad to pick up his son to go for a walk. He would take him somewhere around the metro. That's how the day started yesterday morning. But when Habibovich didn't bring Logan home a few hours later, Missy says her mother's intuition told her something was wrong. He said he would have him back by 8. And I said, don't ever do this to me again. That was the last time she talked to him. From then on, her calls and texts went unanswered. He forgot his monkey. Here's his monkey picture. He's calling for me. Like, you know, he's he misses me. Like... Bring it back. Right after Iowa authorities issued an Amber Alert for the pair, Missouri officials contacted them about a burned out car matching the description. It was spotted in Grand Trace State Park, a remote area in Harrison County, Missouri. They had a hard time finding the scene because it had burnt out. It burnt long enough that it lost fuel and burnt out. While investigators search for answers, there's no question in Missy's mind what happened to her son. She says he died at the hands of his father. That man was a monster. He was despicable. He was, don't talk bad about the dead, but when you do something like that, it's unforgivable. Leaving her and everyone who knew happy little Logan heartbroken. He was here yesterday. And he's gone, and I'll never hold him again. I'll never see him again. Missy also has an eight-year-old son. She says that all that he knows is that his baby brother was in a car accident and died. And friends are trying to help however they can. They've set up a GoFundMe to help cover for funeral expenses. And we put a link with this story on our app and at WOWT.com.